Good morning, everyone. My name is Patty Stream. I'm going to do your July the 23rd spiritual principle a day in a meditation. Let's go ahead and get into that reading. All right, July 23rd. Hope you're doing well. Is entitled Inspired by Hope. We may not relate exactly to one another's dream, but we can relate to the hope, energy, and excitement of trying to realize them. Living Clean, Chapter 2, Connected to Others. One of recovery's greatest gifts and joys is seeing another NA member's hopes and dreams become realized. We are there when someone in our home group plants a seed of an ideal into their own life where it takes root in the dirt below and sprouts a stem that stretches toward the sun. We witness them take all the necessary steps to bring their goal to fruition. In spite of struggles with self-doubt and some real setbacks, we celebrate each other's successes at graduations and weddings, for births, adoptions, and reunifications, at launchings, openings, and housewarmings, and at the finish line, or just by hearing about them at a meeting. We are inspired, even if our own seed of an ideal is very different, or even if we don't yet have a seed of our own. Most of us would agree that specific details of our stories of active addiction don't have to be the same as another addicts in order for us to empathize or even identify with them. The same can be said regarding our specific ideals about how we want to enrich our lives. There are as many paths of, to freedom, rather, as there are addicts, and just as many paths to joy, success, contentment, and fulfillment. Seeing others follow their dreams can inspire hope in us to find and follow our own. At different periods of our journey, hope may inspire us to, excuse me, in different realms, like employment, family, and relationships. Using our intellect, our creativity. As one addict equipped, I used to climb the walls and now I climb mountains. Bearing witness to each other's journey is a boon. We can learn from each other's mistakes without having to make the same ones ourselves. What looks impossible or undesirable to us in early recovery may appeal to us later on and transform our lives. We get most of our best ideals from each other. I can find inspiration in my fellow recovering addicts, sometimes despite the details and sometimes because of them. Today, I have hope for my own future and I'm willing to do what I can to inspire others to find the hope they lost or never had. What a wonderful meditation. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Beautiful meditation, inspired by hope. Sometimes we live vicariously through um, the experience of other individuals. I'll never forget the time that I showed up at a Sunday meeting in my hometown. I think it starts about six o'clock. Start, I showed up at this um, meeting. I can remember the exact date. 
um, maybe not the exact date, but it was around December 18th of 2018. Yeah. And I can remember showing up for this particular meeting. And the reason that I know uh, the exact date is because there's only one meeting a week day of the week rather was a Sunday. There's only one one meeting a week that's held in this particular facility. And I showed up in my cap and gown. My husband and I, we showed up and I had just graduated with my first degree here in the States and it was a double degree, right? So I, I received two associates and I remember going to that meeting and making myself, because if you know me, one of the things you know about me is that education is important to me. And I remember so many meetings I had attended talking about, right? talking about being able to get a degree and surrendering to the fact that the one I had received overseas was not going to be helpful for me. And so it was important for me to share that moment, right? And even though we tell people, leave your degrees and all that other stuff, right? We tell them, leave your titles, all of that outside the door. That really wasn't what I was trying to do. What I was trying to do was share with everyone that had endured listening to me for all those years. I wanted to share with them. Right? Share with them that I had graduated. So it was uh, December 16th of 2018. And I remember that day. I remember that day because someone that rarely ever speaks to me. It, I think you heard me the other day talk about and some people still have a hard time imagining that I've changed that much, right? Uh, or they you know, don't want to interact with me because they remember who I was when I first came around. And this person approached me and they had the most sincere, genuine, warm approach. And what they said was, I struggle so much with not having pursued a higher education. Just you coming in here with your cap and gown on like that. And I know what you've been through to get your degree. Is very inspirational. I'm so encouraged. Now, I don't know what they ever did with that, right? But I know that sometimes our, our experience, strength, and hope, right? Our hopefulness is inspired by other individuals in the program. And that's okay. When I hear someone talk about being able to start their own icy cup business and can't wait till the summer hits and they have everything organized on their beautiful truck that they go, go through town selling refreshments to people. And I actually see them do that. That makes me excited. When I hear of someone talking about being able to benefit the community and be there for them and use their own experience and their giftedness of pulling people together and fundraising and organizing events to help people deal with being bullied or help people deal with gun violence and uh, being impacted by it or housing issues. And I see them actually do it. I'm encouraged by that. That may not be my hope and my dream, 
but to see other people reach their hopes and their dreams encourages me to keep pushing for my doctorate, keep pushing to get this master's, keep believing, even though I believe my circumstances surrounding getting it is everything but easy. I know others have gone before me and done it. And I may not have the highest IQ, but I know people with lesser IQs probably have also accomplished my goals, that my dreams that I'm shooting for. So when I see you do it and you share about your accomplishments or you share about your dreams and I see you tackling that, I become courageous. I receive hope. I'm inspired. So today I challenge you, the next meeting you go to, share, share about your dreams. Yeah, if it's appropriate topic-wise, open meeting, share about your dreams and what you're doing different so that you can actually attain them or share the ones that you've attained and how you feel about that. You never know who you might touch. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon. <laughs>